Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built. And this week, I thought I'd do something a bit different and uh, I think it's time to uh, paint my helmet. All right, guys, well, um, for those of you who might not have known, I actually spent um, about 13 years as a professional airbrush artist doing artwork on mostly uh, cars and bikes and, and that sort of stuff. I'll sort of flick up some pictures here so you can sort of see some of the stuff that I used to do. And I did it for quite some time before becoming a, uh, a firefighter, which is my day job these days. And um, in my time, I've painted quite a few helmets and uh, that's the reason why I got myself a white helmet because I didn't want uh, uh, somebody else to do the uh, the graphics on it. I wanted to do something of my own. And I've been meaning to get around to this for a while, but it's, uh, it's finally time to start making this thing look a little bit cooler. And um, that means the first thing I need to do is start stripping it all down. So um, if you guys are interested in something a bit different this week, let's uh, paint this helmet. All right, so I stripped um, everything off the outside I could. Uh, I did leave the rubber around the face just because on this particular helmet, it seems to be really uh, strongly st glued on. And uh, yeah, it was just gonna be too difficult to take it off. So I've made sure I've got a nice tight uh, mask all around the edge. Uh, I pulled the rubber off around the bottom and uh, a lot of the padding and stuff out of the helmet um, and got it nicely sort of sealed up so we can now start going around and sanding it back. So uh, I'm going to hit this with some 800 grit wet and dry sandpaper and get all of the gloss off of the whole helmet, make sure it's nice and, uh, and sort of matte finish so that the paint will stick. All right, so my helmet now is all sanded back and um, I've cleaned it all up. I've got nice clean hands, nice clean workspace, so I can start masking up the basic design of the helmet. Now, um, I went through, I did a bunch of different sketches of different designs to sort of get a rough idea of what I want to do. There's ultimately though, the it comes down to sort of, I like to work when I actually see it. It's hard to design a 2D helmet design on this very, very three-dimensional shape. Uh, it's very difficult masking up helmets because there are so many complex curves. Take you through roughly what I'm doing now. Once I start laying the masking on, it will, it will start getting a bit more complicated. Um, particularly when you start masking up multiple colors, um, you really need to have a clear idea at the start where you wanna go because um, when you're masking over one and um, the other, it gets very confusing very quick. But uh, so here I went through and I've actually got, um, you can't really see it here very well, but uh, I went down to my local sign writer and got him to cut out my, my home built logo and also uh, my name that I want on the sides of the helmet, either side. Uh, I got it cut out. This is masking film, so it's not normal vinyl. Normal vinyl, the issue you have is that often when you paint over it, it leaves gum behind and it's very difficult to get it off. This stuff is very low tack and after painting over it, you can generally peel it off and it will um, uh, it'll come off reasonably easily and not uh, leave a residue. So I recommend getting, getting your stuff made out of masking film if you can get that. Um, so uh, to start with, I think I need to start laying on my, my name and uh, my logo exactly where I want it. And then uh, I'll start sh taking you through how I'm going to sort of uh, design this whole thing up. All right, so here is my basic design uh, to start with. There is more to come, um, but this is the sort of 
the main mast areas that I want to cover. Now I spent a lot of time getting it nice and symmetrical. It's not 100% but it's pretty good. Um, it's very difficult with freehand masking all this stuff to get it perfect. It's all a matter of just going by eye. So you can see um, that's my home built logo on the back. I've got my name, Jeff, on either side. I will have my surname here as well, uh, which I'll put on later. Uh, so this is the basic shape. Now I'll run you through now just a little a couple of little tips I've got on how I trim these bits. So as you can see, you can see how some of these designs sort of overlap each other. You might have seen in that time lapse there, me sort of trimming out the centers of these bits. And the way I get these sharp corners, if I want to make a sharp corner, it's gonna be hard on this box, I'll cross over, I'll cross over my pinstripe tape. And the easy way to do it is to use the top piece and run my blade along the top edge of the top piece. Peel that bit off, as long as you cut it through enough to try not to cut the helmet underneath. Peel that bit off and you've got a, uh, a nice sharp line there. And then you just need to cut this one through the middle somewhere and peel off the top bit. And there's your nice sharp point. And that's how I did uh, all of the points on this to get that basic shape. What I want to go through now is uh, I need to mask up the entire helmet uh, except for these bits here so I can start painting uh, my base colors on the helmet. You could paint the entire thing in one color first and then um, mask it up and so you only have to mask that part once. It's just because of the types of paint I'm using in this particular example, it's, it's gonna give me a better result if I don't mask over the top of it because of the thickness of the paint of the second color. So um, yeah, bear with me, but I'm gonna go through now and uh, just start quickly masking out, or quickly, it's very, very time consuming, but mask out the entire helmet ready for the first color. And here you can see I have my helmet masked up ready for the first coat. So this is uh, the entire area that I'm going to paint here is all going to be going in blue. So uh, I'm actually going to use the blue of uh, the 680G. I really love that colour so I want to have a little bit of that on the helmet. So let's get out the spray gun and uh, give it a bit of a blast. All right, sorry about the noise of the booth in the background, but um, what I've got on this color, the color that I used on the 680G on my Datsun 240Z, um, it's actually a three layer color. So it had a metallic blue that you've seen me just uh, paint on it then. And then it's got this, which is almost like a candy apple. So it's almost like a, a transparent blue. You see that, you see how you can see the, uh, the color through that you spray over the top. It's got some pearls and stuff in it. So it's a three layer color. It gives it more depth. Now I'm going to get that ready to paint over the top, but before I do that, I'm going to go in with the airbrush and I'm going to do some highlights and uh, shadows on those pieces that I've just painted so that it, uh, it just, it'll give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a pop. Um, it's probably going to be harder to see it while I'm painting it here, but once it's unmasked, it'll all become clear. So uh, let's go in now and do a bit of airbrushing. All right, so I'm going to go through now with the uh, airbrush and I'm going to just do some of the highlights on these shapes. And I'm going to do them sort of to make them look like they've sort of got a bit of shape. In this face, case, I want to make them look like they're slightly concave. So I'm going to put highlights on the bottom edges and shadows on the top edges to sort of give them this bit of a, a sort of a, a negative concave shape onto the, uh, onto the helmet. Um, it'll make a little bit more sense as I go. Um, I thin the paint out very, very thin uh, for the airbrush, but I still use the same automotive paint that I've been using. 
few drops in the airbrush and um, for those of you who haven't seen this before, basically you just press the uh, button down for air, pull it back for paint. The more you pull it back, the more paint you get. And uh, that means that I can do a, a very fine little line. Or a, uh, a big cloud, depending on where I'm placing the, uh, the airbrush. So let's start doing some highlights. So I actually realised that I messed up slightly and I've missed a little piece of this that I haven't unmasked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it open now and blow in the blue colour with the airbrush to, um, to make sure that it, uh, it matches up. It's, uh, it's these little things that catch you out very easily when painting helmets. Alright, so I've let the paint dry up overnight and now I'm going to unmask the other areas and then mask over the top of the bits that I've already painted and uh, get ready to go with the second colour. All right, so you can see here that I've masked up uh, back over all of the bits that I wanted uh, covered that I just painted in the blue. Uh, I still have the uh, my logo on the back there and everything else masked up, ready to go for the color. Now, the main color of this helmet, I want to match in with Harry. So I am going with Harry's orange, but uh, with a twist. So um, you'll see it as I go through it, but I'm gonna start by blending, doing most of it orange, but blend it through to yellow on the front. So now I have my basic uh, orange through the yellow blend, which looks good, but that is not the entire plan. So the reason I did this is because I want to actually airbrush uh, fire onto this. So not flames in the whole old school hot rod type um, flames. And I'm talking more real-ish looking fire. Uh, sort of flowing from the front, front through to the back. Um, I like that look. I think it blends well onto the uh, with these colors. So um, I'm going to start with some yellow in the airbrush and um, what I do is I like to sort of, I, I build it up and I just freehand it all. Uh, there's different methods of doing it. I've always done it just as a freehand.
All right, so I think that looks pretty good for the time being. I think that is my flames done. A nice, neat effect over the uh, entire helmet, which uh, I think will give it a, uh, a nice pop. So now it's time to mask up for my final color. All right, so you're probably wondering what I've done here. And basically what I've done is I've masked out a whole bunch of tape lines on here, but there is a reason for this. This is the same method I used on Harry to get the GT stripes on him, to get it um, all even. I like laying tape right next to each other so you get a perfectly even line all the way, all the way through. And if I go through now and I take off some of the bits, It'll leave me the areas that I want masked and I will be able to paint perfect GT stripes. Mm. Look at that. Nice, even GT stripes, ready for some paint. So now is the fun bit. I have to go through and unmask the uh, the whole thing and see what it looks like. And then there's gonna be some little bits and pieces of blow throughs, there always is, that I have to go around and, uh, and tidy up. So there's still a little bit more to go, but um, I'm really liking the look of it so far. It's <laughs> really coming together. Well, that is a pretty cool helmet, I, I think. I am really happy with that design. I think it, uh, it really works. But there are a few little bits and pieces where I need to go through and fix it up like I was mentioning. I don't know if you can see in there, there's just a little bit, just a little bit of overspray in, in a few spots around the helmet that uh, just aren't quite neat enough. So I'm gonna go through now I take the, um, the razor blade and see how much I can just scrape back the edges because most of it's on the white. So if I can just pare it back just really lightly uh, and see if I can sort of square it all up, straighten it all up and get it ready to paint. But I am, I'm over the moon. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, it's how I envisioned it. It's, uh, yeah, it's a really cool design. It's got the, uh, the home built logo on the back. That's gonna do the job. All right, and that's the last thing. It's hard to read there, but uh, that is my signature and the year MMXXI's 2021, uh, which I always put in the shadows of my artwork. So that is done and ready to clear.
I am stoked with how good this looks. It really came out the way I wanted it to. And um, yeah, I may go back and give it a second clear coat at a later stage, uh, just to sand it all back, get rid of any uh, build up on the edges and stuff. But that is, that's done. That is a, uh, a nicely painted helmet. All right, and that is it. Um, it's been uh, quite some time since I've done any airbrushing and that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed doing it again. Uh, probably seven or eight years ago now is when I stopped airbrushing professionally. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to sort of just dip my toe back in the water every now and then. Um, I'm quite happy with the results. Hopefully that was something a bit different for you guys to, uh, to see and uh, it's gonna look a lot better on track having a, a nicely painted helmet. So um, do, all the, do all the things, like, subscribe and I will see you on the next one. See you guys.